Okay. So why am I making you stand in a corner? I spent stimulus money on band merch. And not your band merch! We're not talking about stuff for a haunting on Mars, Hubert's Quill, or even your solo stuff. Other bands merch. We need to be investing in the show! What is wrong with you? Anyway, what band did you even get merch for him this time? Mushroom Head. Well, why didn't you just say so? Let's open that box up! Alright, so like with Necrogoblicon, I ordered a great big box full of stuff from Mushroom Head because they went and reprinted a whole bunch of stuff, or I guess maybe found some stuff as well. But I know for a fact they reprinted a bunch of things so they could, you know, so that more people could get a chance to own some of this stuff. Also, they are a band that has like a lot of production to it. It's a lot of people, and they do a lot of stuff. So, I mean, they really rely on touring. So when, when it's not touring, it's merch. They've got tons of merch on their web on their website right now. And I went ahead and bought some of it because there's some items that I've wanted of theirs for a while and that have become exceedingly rare, but I don't really collect for prestige or for rarity, I collect uh, for, you know, the enjoyment thereof. So let's open this up and you can see what I got. That's the whole point of this little mini-series. See how, see what order they put this stuff in. Yeah, little packing things to make sure stuff stays shaped in here. All right, they sent me a little. They put little thank you cards. That's cute. <laughs> with the little, with the little mushroom head logo on there. We got the mushroom head DVDs. So this here is volume one. It's got their earlier music videos, obviously as well as a bunch of other stuff. I've not seen hardly any of this. Obviously, I've seen the music videos, but I haven't seen any of the behind the fan stuff, and it'll be a nice little trip back to the past to see you know, how things were for them back then. Uh, this looks like it was a reprint, personally. Not that that's a problem, because it looks because it looks so brand new. But so it looks like a reprint. This one, this is probably just, uh, this is probably older stock. Obviously, this is volume two. Uh, obviously, they designed this packaging to be similar to Saw. Um, I think one of the Saw uh, music videos that they did is on here because they did a song for Saw for the soundtrack. Um, so they wanted, so they designed this DVD case to resemble what the Saw films were packaged like at the time, which is really, really cool. I'm also a big fan of the Saw movies, so yeah, bigger fan of Mushroom Head than I am of Saw, I think. But still, really cool. I can't wait to give this a proper watch. And right now they're most recent. And we'll see how this goes because, see that? HD DVD. That format was discontinued in like 2015. Why would they release, and this came out in 2018. So we'll see if this will play proper on any of my devices. So if not, then it'll be, or maybe it has both in there. I, I honestly don't know. Cause it says DVD home video right there on the, uh, right there, underneath there. And then it says HD DVD underneath here. We'll find out how this, how this actually plays out. I'm willing to bet it's just a regular DVD that's in, um, that's just, that's just got video in, in 60 by 9. <laughs> That's my guess. But we'll find out. And what next we get? Now, this is what made me want to go to their site. Woo, eerie. I had no idea. And this is just, I just love their sense of humor. The mushroom head after sex towel. <laughs> now, obviously, you know me, I don't do literally any of the sex ever. <laughs> Say I love you like a matador, which is a reference to one of their earlier songs, and I think that's hilarious. 
but yeah, so there's that. And honestly, I just thought it'd be a cool, like, wash rag, basically. <laughs> Although it's a little bit bigger than, bigger than what I thought it would be. It's not, at first thought it was like pretty much the size of a washcloth, but it's a little bit bigger than that, as you can plainly tell. But still, I mean, I imagine there's a lot of people who are gonna keep this as memorabilia and not take the tag off. Um, no, I'm actually gonna use it. Um, obviously not for the sex, cause I don't, I don't do any of that. But still, I just think it's really cool. So, that's, I think, again, I love their sense of humor. Uh, but, yeah, so I picked that up. And I picked up these because I wanted to complete my collection, and I know for a fact these are all reprints. So you have Super Buick, which was their second most album. I didn't have it. I mean, if you have Double X, then you have most of the songs that are on Super Buick and M3. Um, but... Uh, those are re-recording, so that's kind of like the more refined, more definitive early era Mushroom Head. But this is, you know, this is after the first album, so it's like I just wanted them in the collection. There's a couple different songs on Super Buick and M3. So I figured pick up the digipacks of, digipack reissues of Super Buick and M3. So got those right there. And their most noteworthy album, the album that got them so much recognition in the day so, save your sorrow now here's a little story i actually have save your sorrow but it's some weird israeli release um i'll show you here so this is the one i got off of amazon or whatever and yeah it looks looks pretty similar it's like to the naked eye or the untrained eye uh they look identical can't tell the difference but Turn around, like, what? <laughs> it's like, what? Well, that's different. <laughs> so I saw that, I'm just like, um, okay. All the music on it's exactly the same, so I got the files that I wanted. But, uh, I wanted a proper. North American release of this album, so I went ahead and got this one. So, yeah, I just, it looks better on my shelf that way. And now this one, which I've been dying to get my hands on for a while, because it got rare for some reason, Mushroom Heads, The Righteous, and The Butterfly. So... Which is easily my favorite album by them. Uh, the songwriting here is absolutely stellar. It feels so very well crafted. Not to say that their albums haven't been before. Save Your Sorrow was also very well crafted. But this one, like, top to bottom, it just feels... It just feels so well put together. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really excited to have all of those in the collection. Wow, so your collection is pretty much complete now. Now, as you can see, I picked up some vinyl as well. You can get these signed, but why would you get an album like this signed when the original members aren't in it? But you can get it uh, signed by the current members. To me, that makes no sense. Um, unless you just really want Skinny's, <laughs> Skinny's autograph. But, uh, which, I mean, that's fine, but I mean, none of those other members were on this record as far as I remember. But yeah, so... This is, I, I don't know if this has been on vinyl before, so I'm not sure if this is a reissue or not. Uh, maybe I'll look it up on Discogs and tell you. Or maybe I won't because I'm lazy. So, but yeah, this is really, really cool to have. They made it look faded like a, like a faded record jacket. So I'm really happy to have that because this is a good album to have on vinyl because it's very atmospheric. It's very, it's very much an experience unto itself. I mean, this was their first album. Uh, they were doing some very new things. A lot of people weren't doing the types of things that they were doing musically. So this is actually pretty... Uh, I don't, do I want to use the word groundbreaking? I think I will. Because, I mean, this was even pre-Slipknot. This was before Meat, Feet, Kill, Repeat. So, I mean, it, this was even before that. Uh, so, that's excellent to have. And... The Righteous and the Butterfly. Nice! The Righteous and the Butterfly was a terrific album! Because, I mean, this is my favorite album by them. So, 
I got that on vinyl as well. So what you have here is just the jacket. There's nothing else inside of here except for the record. It's blue. It is blue. So let's see that. So that's pretty cool. I was thinking it would have been translucent, but it's not. It's actually kind of cooler this way because that because as much as cool as translucent looks, it's not as easy to clean as a plain color. So this is just a plain, a plain blue vinyl record that will see quite a bit of playing on my turntable. Now, something that I noticed uh, with the other record, um, I thought it was kind of weird. On the side, it's very slim, so there's no uh, there's no spine label. Here, you actually have a spine, but there's no label. <laughs> so it's like you don't know what it is, so you pull it out of the thing. That's kind of weird. Like I would have gone, I would have, I would have put the title. You know, it was just like kind of a plain text or whatever. I would have put the title on it there. But oh well. Oh, it's also got the it's also got the same kind of glossy glossy stamp sort of thing going on that the CD does, which is really cool. It doesn't have the embossed mushroom head logo like the CD does, but still, uh, that's a really cool touch. I love it when they do stuff like that. So let's open it up. And so you've got lyrics and notes and boats. I don't know, I guess you don't really have any boats. I think that looks really cool. It's got this uh, green and, what is it, yellow? Green and gold. It's kind of this green and gold swirl going on. So it's like on each side, it's slightly different. So it's like on this side, it's like green with like the gold swirl. And on B, it's the, it's gold with a green swirl. It's just, it's really, really cool. And, it's, and it doesn't try to do this translucent thing. So it should also be pretty easy to clean. So there you have it. That is what I ordered from Mushroom Head. I just don't realize I'm not even facing you. Huh? Well, whatever, I can still see it. So there you have it. That is what I picked up from Mushroom Head's website. Um, they should still have a lot of this in stock. Um, so if you wanted to get any of these things, and there's also a whole lot more that they have on there. So if maybe you were looking to pick up any of it, now would be a good time because I'm sure they could use the help and also they just reprinted a whole bunch of stuff so they could make a lot of these things available again. Uh, so that'll be really great. Uh, hi, baby. Meow. Well, you want to make a cameo, baby? Get up here. Meow. Meow. Get up here, baby. <laughs> so there you go mushroom head unboxing and my cat